Sometimes, when I'm awake in the middle of the night and all I can think about is what in general inspires a microband, I often do wonder what I've done with my life. And as I lay there in some sort of intense insomnia, I often think about which microbrands have a very peculiar and perhaps unconventional form of inspiration. I think about the very creatively designed Coria by Micro OVD, which is inspired by the frills of a jellyfish, and the Commander by English Micro Sherwood, who, no surprises here, is inspired by the legend Robin Hood, and the Vitruve GMT by Burblu, inspired by the work of Galileo, which gives the watch a unique personality and offers a more poetic reading of time. And I often wonder which Micro has the most peculiar inspiration. Today, we're looking at the Nero Rogue BW by Microband Perrin, a brand inspired by Transylvania, home of the famous Dracula. And Perrin's watch designs are heavily inspired by various other elements of Transylvania too, including the stunning UNESCO World Heritage Site Zarami Sedutusia Regia. And stick around as I take the Perrin Nero Rogue BW to Whitby Abbey, the place where Dracula's author Bram Stoker found some of his inspiration for his famous novel while staying there in 1890. And we visit little bits of Whitby which can be found throughout Stoker's novel, including of course the famous 199 steps to the Abbey, which you'll see in my walk around at the end of my vid. As ever, it's great to have you here. But before we do anything else, let's look at the spec of the Nero Row BW all in the next 90 seconds. Perrin is a Swiss-based brand created by Transylvanian descendant Andy Beaker with the sole purpose to produce perennial products conceived to promote perennial philosophy. And Perrin claimed to be a distinctive brand producing Swiss-made hand-built perennial products inspired by Transylvania and its ancestors. And their watch designs are heavily influenced by the wonderful Zami Zedutusia Regia, a ancient Transylvanian calendar and one of the most accurate calendars of its time, and is seen as the pillar of modern timekeeping. And also the sculptural assemble of Constantine Brunkusch, otherwise known as the Endless Column. They have several watches in their collection, the Regia X, Regia, Nero Rogue X, Nero Rogue, and this the Nero Rogue BW. And just to reiterate what was said in a horrifying and deliberately scary 90 second spec, the Perrin Nero Rogue BW comes in at 12.8mm thick, 39mm in diameter, 48mm lug to lug, 20mm at the lug with this high quality water resistant strap tapering down to 18mm by the time it reaches the buckle. Now the case is made from marine grade stainless steel and is grey and boasts bead blasted circular brushed and hand polished finishing and I must say it feels absolutely premium beyond measure. It's very simply curved in line with the bezel and I say very simply but perhaps more beautifully curved in line with the bezel which I'll come to in a moment. 
and that case extends out to these straight lugs which for me really emphasises the modern character of the Nero Rogue Beetle Lee design. At face value that greyscale colour of the case is only visible on those lugs, but you do get glimpses of that grey case throughout the day as you move your arm, giving you a really nice contrasting colour to that black bezel and dial. At 3 o'clock you have the screw down crown which boasts an embossed logo and that crown is the same colourway as the greyscale case. This logo is what Perrin described to me as a stylized strap buckle, but I'd like to think that, rather oddly, it is that of Dracula's teeth. And just to note that the water resistance of the Perrin Nero Rogue BW is 200 meters, and don't forget that this is designed to be a rugged and adventure ready diver's watch, which leads me nicely onto that bezel. Now, what can I say? That bezel is of real high quality. It's steel, black, PVD plated with straight knurling and it's that knurling that gives this watch a fantastic rugged character and contrasts very nicely against the smoother bead blasted circular brushed and hand polished grayscale case and the bezel insert is made from stainless steel with one layer of titanium nitride. It has an inverted arrow in white at its default position of 12 o'clock and the engraved markers as simple straight lines every 5 minutes with slightly thicker engraved lines every 15 minutes. It's a 120 click unidirectional bezel and I must say one that feels, much like the case, premium beyond measure. Now onto that dial. It's metal with embossed hour markers in white and those soft rounded white squares are actually very prominent and if you look closely are cut into a fairly deep and circular riot. Now the riot is of a colour that I'd say is between the blackness of the dial and the greyness of the case. And I must reiterate the attention to detail made by Perrin when they decided to essentially turn what would perhaps be a simple placement of a circular riot into that dial during production into something far more complex. The laser accuracy of those embossed hour markers into that dial need to literally be accurate to the micromillimeter to achieve that perfect placement of a riot that effectively has cutouts to house those hour markers. It really is sensational in its design and those hour markers contain very simple straight minute markers in between each one. And note that each minute marker isn't the same length as the squares and spaced nicely one millimeter away from that riot. Now the rest of that black dial is actually fairly simple. The Perrin logo including that um, icon of Dracula's teeth above the R and the automatic status under the 12 and the product name and water resistance rating above the 6. The product name is a really dynamic yellow colourway which very subtly adds something else to this fantastic face of this fantastic watch. You have a date complication at 3 o'clock and usually I'm not a big fan of date complications but this one is very subtle indeed and quite importantly for my own personal preference the date numerals in white but printed against the same colourway as the dial. The handset comprises of baton hour and minute hands, uh, indented through the middle to add depth with no counterbalance on either hand which gives this a really simple look. Now when I first saw this I screamed for it to be skeletoned hands but actually that solid rugged feel to this outstanding watch lends itself better to bold white baton hands that are not skeletonized. The hour marker falls about 2mm from those rounded hour markers with the minute hand going into that slope riot. The second hand is an arrow hand and also in white. And speaking of Rio, there is a very tiny Swiss made declaration at the 6 o'clock just to add perhaps more at a glance a bit of complexity to an otherwise simple but formidable dial. And that dial is contained underneath this scratch proof flat sapphire crystal which boasts three layers of anti-reflective. Now the legibility of that dial is exceptional and in certain angles of light that sapphire crystal simply won't let you down. The loom is a BGW9 Swiss Super Luminova at the 12 o'clock inverted arrow on the bezel. It's the same grade of BGW9 Swiss Super Luminova on the hour markers and hands too. As ever, there's not much else I can say about the loom, I think it very much does speak for itself. Now when Perrin very kindly sent me this watch, they sent it on what feels like a very very high quality water resistant strap. It's 20mm at the lug and tapers down to 18mm at this buckle. Now it's a shame that buckle isn't signed and perhaps a buckle that was made from and matched the same colourway as the case would have been fantastic but perhaps I'm asking for a bit too much there. Now the strap in particular feels very very tough and durable and despite that tough material actually feels great around my wrist. 
and didn't require any settling in period. If I had to point out one minor negative, I'd probably say this strap has a slightly out of sync cut which disjoints that symmetrical grid line. Not a huge issue if you can bat an eyelid to it, but something that may play havoc if you've got serious OCD problems like me. Now other straps are available including a vegan silicon, NATO fabric and the stainless steel. Now the movement is the marvellous in-house regulated Swiss automatic Celita SW201, 28,800 beats per hour, 26 joules, 36 hours power reserve, hacking seconds and colour match date wheel as I've already mentioned. This Swiss automatic Celita SW201 contains an anti-shock device to add more durability to this magnificent watch. That movement is contained behind this superb screw down case back. Man, I'm literally running out of objectives here. It's made from stainless steel and bead blasted. The Perrin logo slap bang in the middle of that case back. And whilst at first sight it may appear to be fairly busy, it has plenty of specification contained on it. But actually that busyness feels okay hidden on the case back and pressed against your wrist in stark contrast to the simple and very cool dial, bezel and case. Very interestingly, the case back contains the message if found contact perrinwatches.com and very interestingly there is a story behind that. Now the new Perrin Nero Rogue watch prototype was recently lost and it was found by an anonymous guy who contacted Perrin. Now this mysterious anonymous drifter made his demands. Listen, I will leak online photos of the new prototype if you don't give me something that I want. What happened next? Well, a resolution was made between the anonymous man and Perrin and all the photos were retrieved and shared on the Perrin website. Now it's a fantastic story, very creative and I've said this on probably every video I make. Man, only in microbrands will you find character like this. Only in microbrands. On my 7.5 inch wrist it wears, well what can I say, I've had to dig out my thesaurus to find new words. It wears excellently, flawlessly, to perfection, ideally, wonderfully, marvellously and my fave term of the day and one that is very Shakespearean, to a feather well. Now I'm not even going to go into the fact that I have 7.5 inch wrists and I wouldn't normally wear a 39mm case diameter watch, uh, especially not a diver's watch in this size, but this just looks astonishing, astounding, stunning etc 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 on my wrist in my personal opinion. That black knurled bezel against the black dial, white indices, handset all against the grey case with quite protruding straight lugs looks total badass with this strap. It feels lovely and weighty. I weighed it in at 95 grams on this strap but obviously it'll be heavy on the stainless steel. Now I wore this around Whitby Abbey wearing jeans and a dark grey hoodie and I felt like a demon man going about his work. It felt beyond awesome. It's also felt ridiculously premium and you can tell that with the first class materials that you have around your wrist. Now in terms of price, the Perrin Nero Rogue BW will cost a cool 689 Swiss francs which equates to around £620 sterling or just short of 800 USD which trust me is really great value for what you get in return for what I feel feels like a premium diver's watch with a fantastic and inspirational backstory behind it, brilliantly designed with fantastic uh, aesthetics and very ergonomically pleasing on the wrist and made from first class materials, the case, the bezel, the movement in particular that have been thoroughly tested in order to fit the rigorous Swiss quality standards. Overall, well what can I say, I go back to the sleepless nights when I pondered which microbrand watches I've encountered that has the most peculiar inspiration and I say the word peculiar loosely, it's peculiar to me but at the same time absolutely brilliant that this watch is inspired from perennial Transylvania. The perennial philosophy of ancient Transylvanian cultures is retrieved in the existence of Perrin and developed into a, a perceptible manifestation. Now that's darkly poetic but an inspiration that I find awe inspiring. You just need to simply go on their website and mooch about to feel that perhaps unearthly experience um, that magnifies from their brand and designs of their watches. A Perrin is a microbrand that goes beyond what simply a microbrand is for me. This isn't a guy who has a passion and love for horology and has taken a design into production. Whilst that's admirable in every aspect, don't get me wrong, 
current goals beyond that. Andy Beaker created a brand which now boasts a collection of watches that is inspired from a deeply soul-rooted love of horology, coupled with elements of Andy's upbringing and descendancy of Transylvania, a part of the world that is filled with medieval towns, mountainous borders and castles like Brand Castle, a gothic fortress associated with the legend of Dracula. And his main design philosophy is inspired from the ancient Transylvanian calendar Zaremi Sedutusia Regia. So my final conclusion is that Perrin holds the mantle for best inspired watch and maybe now I can sleep soundly with that conclusion in my mind. Or can I? Good morning Perrin Nero O B W. And we are 